Thanks for staying with us. Remember, we told you it's our Valentine week, and we'll be starting this Valentine special this week with different couples who will be giving us insights into their love stories and how it's been holding up with the test of time. Now, our first couple today hmm. is none other than the Nigerian musician, international musician, mm -hmm. singer Oluwashio Anikulakpo Kuti. Oshie. And his lovely wife, dancer, chef, and entrepreneur, Yede Anikulakpo Kuti. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You're welcome. Is it Yede or Yede? Yetunde, Yetunde. Yetunde. my okay. nickname is Yede. Okay, Yede. yes, so it's Yetunde. But I can call you Yetunde, is yes. that okay? All right. So you can call us on 081 0764-1679, 0902416340. You can also tweet to us at TVC Entertainment underscore, and we'll be happy to read your tweet. Hmm. Chill Kuti in the building. It's good to have you. It's good to have you. Yeah, you know your sister. All your sisters here. Please don't come and bring me down. No, my biological one. Okay, she's not around. You know now. Anyway, giving out the I know. I'm just doing this. You know, this is eye service. Yeah. She wants the show. You know that. All right. So we are. expose me. We are here to talk about your love story because it's Valentine's and this whole week we want to just celebrate couples hear from you, different angles, different perspectives, just to have a better insight so that those who are still in relationships can see that, okay, it's not only me that I'm going through all sorts of lovely, lovely things going on. Mm -hmm. Right, so we know how you guys met. She used to work with you, I mean, 20 some years ago. You guys did it for like 12 years before you're uh, not eventually I know, married. I did not know, please. She, oh, she okay, sorry, I thought, well, I thought you guys already knew the background. Okay, okay so tell us, us how you guys met and at what point did you guys get married? We got married like three years ago, Abby. Yes. Yes. Uh, but we've been together since like... I was like 24 then. Yeah. I'm 41 now. I don't know. Wow. Yeah. I'm 37. Sorry, I'm going to be 37 this year. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, 37. Please, I'm going to be 37 please. in October. <laughs> so, so you're a dancer. You used to work for him, right? As a dancer or what exactly were you Yeah, working? actually, I was friends with his cousin before we met. Okay. Right? I've actually known him for a very long time, but we never used to like talk because he was older than me, obviously. And he had his own <laughs> older life. Right. I was mm. growing up. Right. And then I eventually met him again through his cousin. And then I started working with him because I, I, like, I like to dance and everything. So, so he's a dancer? Yes, his cousin was one of his dancers. Okay. Oh, he joined the team. So, yes. he joined so the at what team. point in that dancing were you now scoping him? This what is Valentine. Was him scoping, was him scoping mm. me? Mm. Yeah. So, so, let me put it this way. <laughs> we know you're honest. So. He was, him he was scoping, scoping <laughs> ourselves. No. <laughs> at this time, in the beginning, he was him scoping me. Okay. Yeah. And okay, how it was a lot for me. I was, the guy was just too amazing. I felt like it was a lot. So, but, too, he was, you think he was out of your league? Not that. <laughs> it's just that he had a lot of things going on for him. Yeah. And, you mean girlfriend? <laughs> yes, plenty, plenty girlfriend. Okay, so let me dig a bit into that. How is it being um, dating and married to someone who is so out there? Like, People want to be with him. People want to give themselves to him. White, Chinese, <laughs> Japanese, all of all sorts. Who is this? Who are these people? Please <laughs> hit me up for my DM. I don't know. Who are these people? I, see, I hear this thing all the time, but you know, I, I don't think I'm one of those celebrities that you know people want to get with. Ah, why? Right. I don't have that. Maybe that's persona. what you think, Abeg. That's what you think. You don't even know. Anything. I mean, I know my DM. <laughs> Okay. Half of my DM is like political forwards. <laughs> On the other 25% is like people that want to join MOP. Okay. And the rest is people that want handouts. Oh, okay. you know, so, I mean, no, I don't yeah. see this BBL, uh, Slim Mamas. No. Do you think it has, but it has to do with the way you present yourself? I think so, yeah. Okay, I was just good to ask. Like, and how is this? Since, since she says you've always known each other and you knew how maybe you saw her as a little girl. From when did, you, did it start to change for you? From oh, this little girl is not well, a little girl. Four years now. It's just four Why years. Why are you talking different. about C? I mean, like, at this time, we're very talking. I used to see him, mm. but I go to the place where he always visited as well. Okay. Um, but we never used to talk. I had a girlfriend. Was older than her, was older than me. In her friend's Camp house. Mm. No, actually, Auntie Smile, Collins's brother, T Max house. Oh, I was even talking about when I was. In Mende with the Mary, oh, <laughs> when see. I first first met you. Too much work. <laughs> TMI. Eh? Yeah. You know. Okay. So I know that you may say it's just four years, but because of it's who five you... years. I don't okay. know why it's five years. years. <laughs> <laughs> but because of who you are, you know, mm. your your star quality, the family that you come from, the job that you do. There's mm. something that just makes you even seem even older and more unapproachable. But I want to know when you started seeing her 
differently. And From the very first day he met me. Let him oh, tell wow. us. Let him. <laughs> okay, let him talk now. You have to talk for yourself. I mean, look, like, I had a girlfriend, but when I met her, I was kind of attracted to her, you know. Even though you had a girl of the star? I mean, yes, now. Nah. You know, love is no From the very first day he said that to me. Mm, you could see it because women have a way of seeing it. We and see this thing. It was obvious. Yeah, told her, did you play hard to get? Or? Yes, so. Tell me, tell me, just us. Just us now. How long did it take? <laughs> I tried. <to. laughs> I played hard to get. I tried. And then um, at that point, I think I was seeing someone he knew. Mm -hmm. So um, it was quite a bit awkward. You know, yes. And yeah. Mm, yeah, but like one year though. No, I was the, I was the one off? in the blind year. <laughs> yeah, I was know. toasting her, not doing that she was seeing someone I knew. No, oh, wow. it didn't. And that's why she was playing hard to get. Oh, wow. So, me, I didn't know the full story. <laughs> okay. You know? Well, <laughs> so, please, don't tell me. If I'm going to tell, tell the story, truth. tell it Okay, there. so basically, it's not just him that was hitting on me. He had other friends that were hitting on me. Oh, okay. okay. Huh. So, at this time, Party. he had a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do with somebody that had a girlfriend? Where am I starting from? Mm -hmm. And his girlfriend already started giving me the face, like... Start from chasing her? I can't her? see you. Like, who is this? One. one time, she literally asked this cousin that, who is this girl? And the cousin's like, she's my friend. I'm like, okay. So, I already knew, so I had to, like, back up. All the way. And then, obviously, the friend didn't have anything going on for let him. Me, let me come to marriage, because from the kind of family you're, you're, you're from, you know, Marriage has never been a big deal for you. For, for you. So. so, so you got married. Was was there a pressure to get married for? for not really. Formal? No, 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 no Make pressure. I never. I, mean, I don't even do things because of pressure. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I thrive under pressure. Pressure <laughs> is my. Pressure is my. You don't need. Uh, is my happy place. Mm -hmm. You know. So, so it was never about pressure. I mean, it was just like. It was something we had to do. Not only because. Of the world. Of the world, but personally. What you wanted? We were in our life, our new financial bracket, mm. our daughter, know, our kid. Yeah. You know, and when, and when you said before that international musician, I like the first thing you said, Nigerian musician. Yes. You know, I'm a Nigerian musician. You know, I just happen to have international acclaim. You know, uh, when you begin to access the world like we have been able to, they are saying things you need to be married to do together. Right. And it's just impossible for you to really get the benefit of trying to do things as a couple right. if you're not married just because. Married, so yeah. many things, you know, well, I, then they just do it. You know? So will I say it was a business decision? It wasn't. It's, it, was, it's it was just a life. It's a life decision. Yeah, because we're it's in not. any contract or any kind of business. You know, we actually just. It was a life decision. We just had to. Should I say start. it was more like. An agreement, like so, it was, so let's just do this. Okay. So it's Valentine, of course. Everyone talks about the happy sides yeah. of love. We don't say Valentine season. Oh, <laughs> no problem. But the atmosphere is mm. more lovey, lovey dovey um, time, right? But people always concentrate on the highs, how it was perfect. Can you tell us some of the little icks about him that, you know, if he's not my husband, this guy. What are those things about him that you can't stand? And you as well for her. <laughs> but love has covered it all. Um, <laughs> it's not actually a lot, to be honest. He's a very, very um, easy man. Mm -hmm. He's, he doesn't really have any problem. Except... Really? He doesn't except really have what? any problem except... Except... Except tell what? Us, tell us, except what's here? You know, so... Um, except what is it? There's what? a lot of... Like, it's like, okay, let's say, for example, now we have like 100, 100 things to do. And then out of 100, someone goes 99% over 100. For real? Like, yes. Yeah, so, I'm I mean, finding it hard to believe. Yeah, so it's just one thing that... I mean, and it's not... He's not um, something that is not expected of... Of him. Can you share that with us? Um, I don't know if I want to share. <laughs> Just, Give our permission to share no, now. Let him go on and don't say worry. no keep, keep it up. No. <laughs> I've told you, you're remaining 26 <laughs> wives. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> How about the other one? Actually, that was what you said. Yeah. You said 101. And we have I have to do one, more than so there's still 300 <laughs> wives coming. Okay. okay. We have and to do can we have, have one more children. I'm the only person that's allowed to have two. All right. Wow. Come, but let me jump, jump in here. So let me come in to talk about it. When we talk about um, couples who sort of like live their lives, you're on social media a lot. Mm. And, I, and you're also very online. And everybody feels like they have an opinion in your life and your family. How do you both That's balance funny. it? Because I, we, we are also sort Let of me, like, in that space. One where... of the rules I have with social media, like, 
I have music to sell. Mm -hmm. I have political ideas to share. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's it. it. That's all. Like, one of the most profound sayings in the world that, stay with, that stays with me as an individual is that if you stay into the abyss, mm. the abyss stays back. Mm. So when you use your family for your image and you add them to your narrative, your public, and you use your life to use the toothpick mm. or likes and things like that, then you also are, allow people to you give them the permission to have opinion disrespect. about mm. disrespect. That's this because when outsiders begin to have opinion about what you're doing in your house, mm. it's disrespectful, kind of. So, I think personally, I try to just keep my social media thing business, like yeah. work. Uh, I don't really want to, you know, do all these trends with my family and right. my daughter on my page. Yeah. Like I hardly even post her on my page these days. Like, the more she grows, because also when you've had kids. It is important for children when they grow up to be able to tell their own stories. Mm. They need to be able to lie to their friends, mm. create their perso persona, mm. say what they want, you know, create their image that they used to relate with their peers. But when you, you, as, their, when you as their parent have exposed everything online, Oh, wow. You take that very powerful weapon away from your children. Mm. You know, I never so. thought about it that way. Let me talk about your pan-Africanism and the fact that you read a lot and you have this nationalistic views and all that. H how do you have a, how do you manage him when he's reading and doing all this stuff on social media? Are you around there saying, like, calm down, I think it's easy. Or you're like, yeah, go ahead. probably cooking or making him smoothie or, you know, <laughs> supporting the move. All that, all that. Yeah, he's most doing. times you, you actually hear my voice in his life because I'm just like, saying something or trying to, yeah. And what else again? Yeah, I'm always but do you, do, Are you there when he's reading? Do you try to get yes, into his books? Yes, because he always makes me read as well, so I read as well. And he doesn't finish the book. <laughs> I, so I don't like books that are too big. You get, yeah. I get tired. When the book is small, it's easier for me the to... The information read. doesn't come in small parts. Ah, so that's you. <laughs> he has this book that he's reading for like two years. He's still reading. No, I mean like I would read the book for two years, I'm saying. But I just like books that are smaller. I read as well. So. Mm. Mm. So then, just, let me yeah. talk, to, uh, let me ask about um, your family. Okay. Right, so we know his family based off, you know, That's what they, yes, yeah, their legacy and everything. But uh, when you were, I, I, and I know that you were living together before you yeah. finally decided to get married. At the point where you were living together, and the point where you shared the news that you were getting married, how did your family take the news? Um, well, it's it's crazy because um, I've always had this idea of not wanting to be married, as, as same as him. So um, my, my family already were expecting me not to get married because I already said, you guys are not getting married. Like, I don't want to go through the marriage. What were your reasons for that? Uh, my mom, my dad, I grew up with all these people that are married and then their marriage was just all... Same word. Pretense. You know, and I look at it from their perspective and I see that everybody has their perspective for the reason why the marriage couldn't work. And sometimes people can't just continue. It's a sacrifice that you have to make, you know. And some people don't want to make the sacrifice, exactly. like, you know. And then that's it. And then just and everybody moves on with their life, you know. But the thing is, I don't even know who the next person is going to be. Or, so, but I just didn't want to be married. But then, <laughs> after um, after we met and then we had, we got together and everything, we decided. They were surprised, actually. Pleasantly surprised. Because we're not even around. My dad doesn't live in Nigeria. All my families are not in Nigeria. Okay. Well, just my mom and my... Yeah, so they were kind of surprised that yeah, you changed your mind. To, yes, us, because they already thought that, oh, you get back to show, okay, that's it, you're ready, you ended your life, you're not going to be married, <laughs> you're just going to be one of his 20, 35 or 50 wives. Well, wow. <laughs> yeah, at that time, that was what they were thinking. They were like, oh, his father married 25, I'm sure he wants to go above. Yeah, you know, so everybody like, forget it, you know. So. All right, let me go on a very short break. When we come back, we continue this conversation. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. 